Okay, so welcome again to another CTF walkthrough. Uh, this time we'll uh, tackle malware traffic analysis one. So this is a pretty old, but it's pretty much uh, pretty much we can learn a lot from this challenge uh, using Wireshark or Brain Security or the Network Miner. Okay, so this is actually a, a pickup. A pickup challenge involving exploit kit infection and here are the tools that we will we will be using it's a very very brief challenge details so let's move on to the questions okay the first what is the IP address of the Windows VM that gets infected okay so let's go to our analysis machine Okay, so to open, simply choose files or drag and drop the pickup here. Uh, let's go back to the okay. So once it's loaded, uh, let's go to the activity overview. I'm oh, sorry, Suricata. Let's make a tagger since we are looking for the infected machine. And here in this in the Suricata signatures, uh, go to the network troll gen because it's, it's a much stronger sign uh, of malware infection, right? Based on the signature, right click, pivot to logs. Notice here uh, we are interested in the destination IP, meaning that's the infected machine where the malware was downloaded. Okay, so this is this is the answer, right? Then going next, what is the host name of the Windows VM that gets infected? So go back uh, this time. Uh, okay, open the pickup again in Wireshark. So it's already open on my end. Uh, let's clear the filter. And since we are in interested in the finding the host name, let's search for NBNS or NetBIOS Name Service. And uh, we are interested in the in this IP. So one six eleven two sixteen already this one. And then search or inspect the inspect the packet details, and you will see something like this one. Then it by a service. Okay, this one the query. So. This is actually the work, the workstation uh, host name, right? So okay, so that's how we find the host name of this machine. And that one six five, that one six five, right? Then for the MAC address, what is the MAC address of the infected VM? So again, we will again use Wireshark. You can actually see it on the, the packet details as well. So this one under the uh, Ethernet 2 details, you will see the source MAC address is this one starting with F0, ending with 9BF1. Right, next one. What is the IP address of the compromised website? So, for number four, this one, uh, let me just check the address of the compromised website. So, we found this. So, going back, uh, let's go back to the brim. This is the brim. So, what you need to do is go back to activity overview. And filter for the HTTP logs. So somehow this brim seems have a bug. So you correct the filter. You just need this query to display HTTP events. And then check. Uh, this is sorted chronologically. Uh, descending. So let's check the very first HTTP event. And this is the. This is our infected machine, right? From the earlier question, where the Trojan 
to the kata figure was found and the compromised website uh, is this one 82150 140.130 okay and then what is the FQDN of the compromised website so we found this so at the same uh, brim packet uh, you can see here the host this is Cine Holland that and how a6 what is the IP address of the server that delivered the next by kit malware so we found this so let's go back uh, again under brim open the suricata alerts by category and you will see a signature related to exploit kit uh, detection so pivot on that right click pivot okay and notice here <coughs> This is the source IP delivering the exploit kit and we will filter this using HTTP uh, oh that's the answer already yep so that's the IP address then what is the FQDN of this IP that's delivering the exploit kit so, so knowing this IP let's search the HTTP events related to that IP so go back http filter value okay uh, remove this wrong query okay let's try that again but http right and then uh, recall that the IP delivering the exploit kit is this one 37269143 and the related FQDN for that is this one standard trust and probate realty right so what is the resume direct URL that points to the exploit kit landing page Okay, this is the exploit kit landing page. Well, to find the URL that redirects to this page, uh, let's search for the referral URL. Referral URL for this. And then you will notice the referrer URL is this one. 24corp.shop.com This is the URL that redirects to this exploit kit uh, host, hosting, hosting domain. Okay. Okay, and then other than CBE, uh, IE 2013 to 551 exploit kit, IE exploit. Another application was targeted by the exploit kit that starts with J. Okay, so we found Java. So how do we find that? Uh, you need to open the PCAP. So notice here I opened the PCAP using Network Miner. So simply file and open the pickup and then go to the files tab. So network miner is a very useful tool because it it parses all relevant artifacts uh, for a given pickup, uh, whether it's files, uh, contacted host, images, credentials, and so on. So very useful for carving artifact off of a pickup file. So on the files, notice here, uh, let's search for extension. Uh, it is targeting also flash files and you can see here jar, Java files as well, right? Okay, this and then it's related to our infected machine. So you focus on that. These are the files related to the infected machine, Java, XML, flash files, right? that's how we got the answer then for the number 10 how many times was the payload payload delivered okay now we go to the wireshark and from our previous filter we need to filter HTTP and then we can actually see on the info the related request and if you will just search here we only got a couple of HTTP requests right so and here you can actually see uh, if we'll sort on the info 
there are just a couple of uh, let me just see. see here there are just three requests related to file downloads okay so that's how we got this answer three then for the number 11, how many compromised website has a malicious script with the URL? Okay, so remember the compromised website uh, from this one. Uh, compromised website. This one, cineholland.nl, right? So let's go back to the Wireshark uh, and filter. Filter HTTP, but sort this uh chronologically so this is now older to newer and chronologically recall that the very first uh, HTTP request to the compromised website is this one the packet 161 so right click on it follow TCP stream all right and then if you will uh, scroll down the TCP stream involving uh, the connection to the compromised website you will actually find an embedded uh, link somewhere uh, this one show you right here this one there's an embedded link of the referral per URL going to the exploit kit remember this is the referral URL going to the exploit kit uh, where it is hosted, right? So that's how we got this. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, that's number number 12. Okay. There's no number 11 yet. I don't know why it's trip from this for this challenge. And down to the last question, extract the two exploit files. So what are the MD5 file hashes? Okay. Well, actually, you can use Network Miner or Brim Security, even Wireshark. But uh, you can actually find the answer without extracting. So let's go back to the Brim. Uh, this one, go back to Activity Overview. Okay, why is it? Oh, this one. We're interested in the file activity. So, pivot to log. Uh, that files. Okay. Then, uh, you can actually see here. Uh, in the mine type, this is the file type. Uh, related shock. Flash file and flash file and java so it's right here this one java so we're interested in those two right i call from the previous question it's that it's those are the related files uh, being exploited and you you can actually see a column here related to responding hash so we have here so for easier view, you could actually control control the columns. So cut my type. My it's for easier view. See here so you could you could control the fields being shown just like a uh, Splunk so these two are the answer okay you could open this and copy the value okay, it's taking a while so you could copy it you can even search can even search virus total all right so the 
this is the flash the flash malware the other one is the java okay so congrats so this is a quick ctf but really you, you'll get familiar using uh, network forensic tools for malware analysis